Hi everyone, my name is Julia Padoff, and today I will be talking about my senior thesis on young adult literature. Now, before I get into all the nitty-gritty details and the discussions that will be present in my paper, I first want to say a little bit about what got me interested in this topic in the first place, and why I think this is an important enough topic for me to cover in my senior thesis. Now, as I was growing up, I was always surrounded by literature. My dad was always reading, and so naturally, I was too. When I was young, I quickly moved from young literature to young adult literature. And this made me extremely happy because young adult literature offered me compelling, realistic stories with relatable characters, and it made me feel like I wasn't so alone in this world. It also made me feel smart enough to be able to handle such intense topics. Topics like mental illness, trauma, death, and love that myself and other people my age were also dealing with silently. Seeing such intense critiques of young adult literature throughout my adolescence always confused me, though. I just didn't understand why people couldn't see the value of such influential stories, especially ones that were written for young people and about young people. In writing this thesis, I really want to show the worth and the value of this genre to people who might not doubt it, who might not be aware of it, or who might not understand exactly why this matters so much. Young adult literature helped me and so many other kids like me to find comfort during a scary and lonely time growing up. So I want to show not only how this genre matters, but why it matters. As I said, the topic of my thesis will be on young adult literature, and also on the persistent historical devaluation of this genre and the genre of the novel as a whole. I begin my thesis by discussing the culture of circulating libraries in the 18th century, following the emergence of the genre of the novel as a genre. During this time, novels as a form were feminized due to their association with female readers, and thus they were deemed unvaluable. Nowadays, we can see this same devaluation being afforded to young adult novels due to the contradicting and hypocri hypocritical belief that they are both too mature and too immature. This is a point I will be discussing in my paper and thoroughly arguing against. For my thesis itself, I will be stating that in devaluing young adult literature, we run the risk of discouraging young readers from picking up literature that's beneficial to them. Even more than that, we run the risk of discrediting the young adult genre as a whole by overlooking the inherently mature and sophisticated topics, themes, and lessons that are present. For my paper itself, to support my argument, I will be using three very popular and widely known young adult novels. The first is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, also The Purse of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, and The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I will, using these three books, I will be arguing in favor of young adult literature and the many benefits of this genre. These benefits include, but are not by any means limited to, the representation of young adult struggles and experiences, the chance for adolescents to identify with strong protagonists, and the legitimization of a young adult's self-worth and identity. Even more than that, reading young adult literature is beneficial to a person of any age because it encourages active, engaged reading practices, it offers diverse representation, and it promotes empathy and education in the reader. To support my argument, I will be using the three novels that I mentioned, not just because they're exemplary works of young adult literature, but also because they belong to three distinct subcategories of young adult literature. The coming of age story, as Perks of Being a Wallflower, the dystopian novel, is The Hunger Games, and the romantic tragedy is The Fault in Our Stars. Each of these subcategories emphasize the sophistication and the maturity of young adult literature by presenting us with very mature topics and themes. Now, um, through the close readings of these novels, I will be making my argument that the devaluation of young adult literature is extremely harmful, and that, in order to prevent the continuation of this, we must rethink our ideas on literariness and this genre entirely. Novels like the three that I have mentioned contain very serious and mature topics that young adults are able to read from, relate to, and learn from. Not only are they able to do these things, but they should be doing these things, and it should be encouraged for young adults and adolescents to pick up novels that are targeted for them, written for them, and most importantly, beneficial to them and their well-being. Thank you very much.